everybody. I'm Robert Johnson with Lid Specialist. Thank you for uh, watching this uh, product demonstration of our therapeutic head joint. We're in Salt Lake City, Utah, the 2019 uh, NFA, National Flute Association National Convention. This is my dear friend, Angela. Hi, my name is Angela McHughes and I'm chair of the Performance Health Committee and I own a business called Music Strong, which does fitness for musicians. I'm very interested in all the different ways that you can modify your instrument so that you can still have a long, healthy playing career without having to sacrifice good sound or technique. Well, I'm so glad all of you are here. What I thought I would do in this presentation, product showcase, is talk about our products on a technical level and then allow Angela to talk about them in a creative, artistic way. So first let me describe the products that we brought here to show you. We have basically two manufacturers of which we're exclusive uh, sellers. Um, and you can try them at our booth here at the NFA 2019 uh, booth 301. So we have the Bryant Bertram made head joints. Um, these are made in Elkhart, Indiana. We have a 30 degree and a 90 degree head joint. That's what they're referred to as the, their name. Um, and we also have direct from Denmark, custom handmade head joints from Flute Lab. This is called the Swan, and this is called the Vertical Head Joint. With both products, the Vertical can disassemble for swabbing, but more importantly, you can adjust the blowing angle. So as we're playing the flute, we can adjust the blowing angle like this. So in sending head joints to you for trial, or if you're testing them, many flute head joints will have to fit to the flute barrel. But what I'm demonstrating here is a closed hole flute. Um, our handmade flutes are here. In many instances, people are uh, concerned about the overall weight of the flute and how that impacts their, their playing health. So I'm gonna just demonstrate how I take the head joint up for trial purposes. Many people are familiar with uh, hardware store plumber's tape. This is a great product. We're also using scrapbooking tape, which is single-sided sticky. This is a little bit more uh, durable film and will last much longer than your standard, what I call office supply store tape. I'm putting enough on this here and increasing the outside diameter of the head joint so that it fits properly. And then again, you can see how we can adjust the blowing angle like this. We do have, uh, the manufacturer also makes Flute Lab, that's our friend uh, Martin Besser. Um, we also have some attachments that can attach onto the flute to help balance and hold the flute. In many instances, in my mind, the swan may not need any of these attachments, but we realize for many of you out there that it might make it easier to hold the flute. So there is a right hand attachment and it can um, attach right onto the instrument like this and help hold the flute. And there's one for the left hand uh, attachment too. In applying these, you wanna make sure that the uh, apparatus here, the little plastic pieces are not interfering with any of the keys opening and closing. And you can see that it helps balance the weight of the flute. So really the weight of the flute is, uh, is held on, on the plastic part here, okay? For many individuals, that may have difficulty with the weight of the instrument, Angela and I thought we might show you very quickly some other products that are not directly uh, therapeutic head joints. Um, these are uh, composite, very high-tech uh, flutes, and what makes them so interesting is they're extremely light and they play marvelously, and they're for the most part affordable. Many people will comment on the bass flute, how light it is, how well it plays. It happens to be our most affordable bass flute as well. Um, so we do send these uh, products all over the country for in-home trial, and you can contact Flute Specialist directly at info at flutespecialist.com or on our website at flutespecialist.com. So this is a quick run through of some of the products that we have. Um, there are some other devices that will help balance the flute made by Flute Lab, um, and we can talk about those at another time. What I thought I would do is allow Angela to talk about the products um, for a little bit, and uh, we'll let you take it from here. Is that fair, Angela? Sure thing, sure thing. Yeah, so we've got several different head joints, as she mentioned, and there's definitely a difference with how these are, how they feel.
feel when you play them. So with the 30 degree, we've got, it, it's a little different because you, when you want to put this on, you want to go back and line things up. It's a little different because things are, the angle is not the same. So you, it takes a little bit of experimentation to find out where they go. You know, does it need to be more in, more out? Where is that going to be comfortable for you? But when you're playing these, I find that these are really great for people who have shoulder issues, you have neck issues, thoracic outlet, any kind of back pain, any of that stuff, very, very helpful because a lot of times, you know, this is just not an ergonomic position, right? So when you have these head joints that have this nicer angle, what they do is they let your arms fall down to your side so you can play with a little more ease. So with the 30 degree, you can tell they sound just as beautiful as a, a, a normal straight head joint, but it's a little different to get used to your fingers not being where you're used to having. The difference with this one, what I find is that because of the angle of it, I still kind of want to come up like that, so that's something to take into consideration, that it's not quite down here like you think. It's a little more, you kind of want to go up a little bit, okay? So that's the Bertram, the 30 degree. And then we have the Swan, which is very similar to it. I will say I, I do like this one. It's also, it looks a little strange, but see, you can't line it up. So when you play it, it does go a little, it feels like it goes a little farther down. I do like that, that uh, being one piece, they're very different. You have the options of changing things on the vertical versus the uh, 30 degree, they're kind of fixed, right? But this I just feel is very, it's very easy to play here. It's almost exactly the same as if you're up here, but it's just very natural to hold it here without, you know, a lot of times you get uh, kids who get tired they end up doing this to go to the back of the chair. And this kind of alleviates that. So I just got done teaching at a, a week-long residency in Stetson University in Florida. And I got the kids to try all these, and one kid had scoliosis. And uh, she gravitated towards these. I mean, she just, she already kind of plays like this anyway. This put her into a really natural playing position, and she didn't have to change anything. And she sounded great. You can hear they sound just wonderful. So then we go on to the vertical head joint. And this is the uh, Bertram, and it's got this beautiful engraving on it. And what's nice is that on the vertical, you can change the angle. So it comes in two pieces. You can change the angle this way, this way. You can also change the angle this way, this way. Okay? So finding where, it's kind of like when you set up a bass flute with a curved head joint, trying to find that angle that's right for you. Takes a little getting used to. Mm -hmm. And then you can find out what works for you. Now, what's nice about this, it's kind of like a clarinet, it's more in front of you, so you're not gonna have that upward uh, position of the, of the scapula, the shoulder, in compressing the subacromial space, which is up in here in your shoulder. You get a lot of people with uh, thoracic outlet or tendonitis or shoulder impingement, it's a big one when you come up here. This alleviates that. You're just relaxed down by your sides and you can still play just as before. The danger in these is that because it's a little different, you might want to jut your head forward and bring yourself to the flute. You always want to make sure to bring the flute to you. As you can tell, just as lovely a sound as a regular head. And then the last one we have is the other vertical head joint. From flute class. And this does kind of remind me of like a seven, right? It's the same kind of situation. You're down by your side, but it's nice that you can you can change the angle not only from side to side, but also up and down, which vertically and horizontally, what works best for your hand position. You want to find out which way feels best, right? Really nice register, super easy to play. It is a little different when you're trying to figure out where does my thumb go? Do I need one of the, uh, do I need one of these? I don't know, everybody is a little different so it might take a little experimenting but there's an excellent option for anybody with shoulder issues or back issues or say that you play an awful lot and you just kind of get tired and you want some other, like a different option or maybe you're in a really close section and you don't have a lot of room to spread out and you just don't want to play sideways. These are great options and they sound just as nice. So, Shall I demonstrate the other two? Okay. So we also have the light 
Lake Flute. This is the Toka Flute, new voice from uh, New Voice. And as you can see, it's extremely lightweight. It's made of composite. It's very, very easy to play. And the thing I love most about these, they have a wonderful sound. And when you see these, you kind of think, ah, yeah, but are they really going to sound good? Yes, they do. These are fantastic for playing outdoors. You know, we have all these outdoor concerts, and you don't want to take your really nice instrument outside to play. Well, you can take this, and it's impervious to uh, temperature changes, and, and you're, it's not as, uh, you don't have to be as worried about moisture in the air. I mean, they sound really nice. They've got a wonderful low register. Okay. And you wouldn't think that because you think, oh, it's just a composite instrument. No, they're absolutely wonderful, and I highly recommend any of these for especially people who would love to have a different option, but they don't necessarily want to go with a different head joint, but they would love to have something really lightweight. These are excellent options. And a lot of my, a lot of my adult students, actually, they change from going from a heavier instrument to a lighter weight instrument. And they, they, I want to say downgrade, but they go from, you know, heavier to lighter because as they age, things are more difficult to play. And so this is also an option for them. A lot of them are in community bands and they're outside playing and say they've got a really nice Brannon or a heavy wall this or that. And they don't want to take their gold instrument or anything outside, but you know, they also can't play for as many hours as they used to. This is an excellent option for them because they don't weigh very much at all but you're not compromising on quality whatsoever. And this, this beautiful bass flute has to be my favorite thing that I've ever tried on a bass flute. So this, I am shocked at how lightweight it is, and it sounds wonderful. Uh, we used this for my, my flute choir uh, at, our, at our spring rehearsal last year just to try it out, and I'm definitely going to be buying one of these because they don't weigh very much. And when I'm working with children, one of the things that I hear most from the kids is they are super excited to play alto bass flutes, but then they, they come up to me and give me a kiss and my arms hurt, my back hurts, and this hurts and I can't play it anymore. Well, it's because the instruments are heavy. And this, compared to a metal instrument, hardly weighs a thing. And so, but it also has a really nice sound. And you can also change up here and here, vertically and horizontally, to find the right position for you. I haven't found the right position yet. <laughs> And I can play this all day because I feel like it weighs almost nothing, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm not demonstrating this very well. I haven't got it quite set up for myself. But when I let my, my students try it, they, they almost fought over who got to play it because they liked it so much. And they wouldn't ever complain about how it hurt to play. So this is one of the things that I've had a lot of success with. So I highly recommend this for anybody. And it's a really affordable, uh, really affordable option if you're looking for that. Plus, if you have outdoor concerts, also a great option for that. So good luck all of our students. Well, that's great, Angela. Thank you. And thank you for all you're doing with the NFA committee. That's Absolutely. marvelous. I can tell you quite honestly, as I've been doing this for so many years, that we find more and more players are concerned with their health and playing the instrument. Um, and so I hope if you have any pain in playing that you won't quit. Um, I can tell you that with these products here, um, the 30 degree, the swan, the vertical, and the 90 degree head joint, that we've worked with so many that would no longer be able to play unless they use this type of product. And it's really very rewarding for flute specialists, myself, to be able to be able to make an impact on someone's life as a player. Um, and so we do find in general that when someone is starting with medical pain, typically they're gonna try the swan head joint first. It begins, it begins the process of, of alleviating that pain. Certainly for people with more extreme pain or if they wanna play in a flute section or if they like the distinctiveness of them, they'll play them in jazz settings, classical concert band and marching band. But generally, when the pain is so great that, that, that the vertical is the only answer, I do think that, that considering these and trying these is very important. Uh, is that all for today, Angela? What do you think? I think that's it. I think we've, we've covered it. So we well, really appreciate great. you coming. Yeah, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.